Here are the 10 people who couldn't care less what other people think of them. Number 10, Edward Smith. Edward Smith, 63, is a mechaphile, which means he's sexually interested in cars and believes he's in a relationship with one. Phew, they'll just let anyone do anything these days, don't they? How do we know how the car really feels, though? As a teenager, Smith supposedly began to look at car magazines in the same way dudes look at Playboy before finally losing his virginity to his neighbor's Volkswagen Beetle at age 14. Seriously? Smith has said that although he's made love to over 1,000 cars in his lifetime, he's now settled down with the love of his life, a Volkswagen Beetle he calls Vanilla. When he laid eyes on Vanilla in 1982, apparently it was love at first sight. I'm not sure I can continue this entry. This has to be the dumbest thing I've ever read. But you know what? I'm going to continue just for you guys. When asked how he makes love to a car, he clarified that he's not attracted to any kind of actual penetration. He said that it's mostly hugging and holding the shape of the car close to him and talking to it a little bit. He added that he always kept his clothes on and just uh, unzipped to do the rest. Oh yeah, he's only had one human partner. <sighs> Number 9. Yoshiro Nakamatsu Dr. Yoshiro Nakamatsu is a Japanese inventor who's become somewhat of a celebrity for his inventions. Over 3,500 of them to be a bit more specific. Dr. Nakamatsu, if you prefer, or as he prefers, Sir Dr. Nakamatsu, is a prolific inventor whose biggest invention is the floppy disk, an invention he claims he came up with. Well, the keyword is claims, as IBM would like to say otherwise. His other inventions include what he calls spectacles in the shape of eyes, which he claims makes whoever's wearing the glasses look like they're not wearing glasses. He also invented a wig for self-defense, which is basically a weight attached to a wig by a string. The wearer swings the wig to hit an attacker. You guys see a theme here? In interviews, Nakamatsu has described his creativity process, which starts with him listening to music and concludes with him diving underwater where he says he comes up with his best ideas. Nakamatsu claims to benefit from lack of oxygen to the brain during his dives. Yeah. In 2010, Nakamatsu claimed he had been granted an honorary title by the Sovereign Military Order of Malta. Since then, he's introduced himself as Sir Dr. Nakamatsu, although his claim has been denied by a representative of the order. Maybe one day I'll be as extra as Dr. Nakamatsu because it's clear he gives zero fucks about what other people think. He's going to come up with as many crazy inventions as he can and live life the exact way he wants to live. And you know what? We can all learn a little bit to live life with as much vigor as Dr. Nakamatsu. Number 8. Amar Bharati Amar Bharati is an Indian holy man who claims he's kept his right hand raised in the air since 1973. Say what? In 1970, Bharati abandoned his traditional comfortable lifestyle and decided to completely devote himself to his Hindu Shiva religious beliefs. After three years, he decided to raise his arm to the heavens in a permanent salute to his belief, and also doing it for world peace. To be honest, not sure how it would help world peace, but hey, that's just me. Ever since that day, Bharati raised his right arm, his arm slowly deteriorated. Despite the initial extremely painful degenerating effects on his limb and circulation, he's continued raising his arm, which has become withered and useless. His arm muscles and the right arm have clearly atrophied, to a point where it's just stuck in that position. Barati himself says he went through excruciating pain for a long time, but not anymore. His arm is basically a useless bony structure ending in thick, twisted nails that he never clips. He's inspired others to follow in his footsteps, as others in his religion have chosen to raise their arms for peace and harmony. Number 7. Ted Richards Ted Richards, 56, is obsessed with his pets Ellie, Tika, Timna, Jake, and Booby. He's had his face and eyeballs tattooed to pay tribute to them. Mr. Richards, a retired shoe factory worker, got his first tattoo in 1976 and has since built up a collection covering almost his entire body. He has 110 tattoos, 
50 piercings and a split tongue. He's also had his earlobes removed by a surgeon in a six-hour operation. Just, just why? He actually gave his severed ears to a friend, who he said would, quote, appreciate them by preserving them in resin. In addition to all that, he also has a peace sign branded on his left shoulder with a hot iron and two magnets implanted in his hands. He's constantly looking for new procedures and says his facial transformation is a tribute to his pet birds. Despite his, let's just call it interesting looks, he said that both the parrots and his new girlfriend love his new looks. However, apparently he no longer speaks to his family, and he has just two friends. Number 6. Rachel Evans Rachel Evans, 46, dubbed the human Barbie, is from southeast London. She's obsessed with Barbie and has completely overhauled her image with plastic surgery in an attempt to recreate her frozen look. She spent more than 20,000 pounds in transforming herself into a real-life human Barbie doll. Over the last 11 years, Rachel has had a bunch of procedures that include a cheek augmentation, contouring, jaw tightening, breast augmentation, and a nose job. She's even had the corners of her mouth surgically turned up so she looks like she has a permanent smile, just like Barbie. The blonde mother of one, who looks drastically different to her gothic black hair persona 15 years ago, said she got hooked from the first filler. Oh yeah, at least she does go to the gym five days a week to get the body to match. Number 5. Mitsuo Matayoshi Mitsuo Matayoshi is a Japanese political activist who calls himself the only god, Matayoshi Mitsu Jesus Christ, or Lezu Matayoshi. He's the leader of the World Economic Community Party, which he established in 1997. It's essentially a political party based on his conviction that he himself is God. According to his program, he'll do the last judgment as Christ, but somehow within the current political system, his first step is to be appointed the Prime Minister of Japan, which, let's face it, is never happening. The next step is to reform Japanese society, and the last step for him is to be offered the position of Secretary General of the United Nations. Matayoshi will basically reign over the whole world with two legitimate authorities, not only religious, but also political. The world economic system will be altered to encourage every nation to be self-sufficient based on agriculture. This guy sound off his rocker yet? Matayoshi has put himself in many elections from 1997 through to 2013, but surprise, surprise, he hasn't won anything yet. Number four, Jasmine Tritival. Jasmine Tritival became the subject of intense online scrutiny and doubt after extraordinary images suggested she had become the first woman in the world to have an artificial third breast implanted. Jasmine, age 21, was dismissed as fake by many people. They claimed that the third breast was a wearable prosthetic, especially after she reported a three-breast prosthesis stolen when her bags went missing at the Tampa airport in 2014. She obviously insists her implant is real. She said that she knows herself and that her breasts are real and she couldn't care less what anybody thinks. She claims the procedure cost $20,000 and took around an hour and a half to complete. Kicker is that she said the reason she got a third breast is because she wanted to make herself unattractive towards men. I'm just gonna keep my comments to myself. Number three, Rodrigo Alves. At number three, we have the compliment of Barbie in Rodrigo Alves, who's known as the Human Ken doll. Thanks to his extensive number of plastic surgeries, Alves is a Brazilian born in Sao Paulo, and currently he's a British TV personality with a face you can't forget. He was once a guy who pretty much looked like anyone else in Brazil, until Alves had the dream of looking like a Ken doll. Apparently, he used to be bullied in the past for his looks, so doctors advised that the only way he could become more muscular was through surgery. Seriously, who are these doctors? He has spent between four hundred and five hundred thousand dollars since 2004 to create his new body, an amount he says he doesn't regret at all. But don't worry, Alves can afford to pay for the surgeries himself thanks to his modeling gigs and TV appearances. 
He was recently warned about his addiction to plastic surgery and was told that having extra work done on his face could result in his nose falling off. Whoops. Number two, Julia Vins. Julia Vins is a Russian power lifter and a social media personality who's famous for her unique look. In case you haven't noticed, this girl is jacked as hell. This babyface bodybuilder, dubbed Muscle Barbie, has gone from Instagram star to entrepreneur after setting up her own website to keep thousands of fans updated on her progress. It all started five years ago when Julia was just 15 that she started hitting the gym because she felt that she lacked confidence. Unlike most girls, however, she decided that cardio wasn't for her and she opted to do powerlifting instead. After starting powerlifting in 2013, she started noticing major progress in her strength and size. Julie's got arms Arnold himself would be proud of and can deadlift an amazing 419 pounds. In case you're wondering how she does it, it's called good old fashioned hard work, just like anything else in life. Julia trains five times per week. On one of those days, she does a one to two hour cardio session. She also always follows a strict diet before a competition, but she does allow herself a cheat day once a week. Number one, Rolf Buckholz. Guinness World Record holder Rolf Buckholz, 58, broke the record for body adornments with a total of 453 metal piercings all over his body. Buckholz's body updates don't end there as the German body art fanatic also sports numerous tattoos and even horn implants in his head. So yeah, guess where the majority of those 453 metal piercings on his body are? If you guess ding, 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 you're right. More than 61% of those piercings coming courtesy of the ones he has in his The world's most pierced man has revealed that he still has a great sex life despite having 278 piercings in his with another 94 of them around his lips. However, the folks working in airport security can't stand him. In fact, Buckholz was once barred from entering the United Arab Emirates because officials there were concerned that a dude who looks like him practiced, quote, black magic. Here's what's next. If you were a kid in the 90s, then you probably got your periodic dose of science through TV's super famous show, Bill Nye the Science Guy. The show aired on PBS from 1994 to 1999, and was also syndicated to local stations. Known for its quirky humor and rapid-fire MTV-style pacing, 